What you don't know about the Pawn Stars experts. Pawn Stars has been going strong for a solid 16 seasons now, so we've gotten to know the guys pretty well. When it comes to Rick and the gang, there's not an awful lot that we don't know. But what about the experts they call in? When they don't know how much an item is worth or just want a second opinion, an expert is always on hand to save the day. But how much do we know about these pop-up professionals? You might be surprised what's lurking in their antique closets. Join us as we take a look at what you don't know about the Pawn Stars experts. Before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more amazing videos about your favorite movies and TV shows. Experts aren't paid. In this business we call a show, it's quite unusual for anyone to make an appearance on TV without getting paid. But sometimes the promise of publicity is enough. These experts lend their time and, well, expertise to the show purely to get free advertising for their own businesses. Below their name, their own company is listed, and on occasions we even see inside their own stores. For instance, in one episode when Chum Lee thinks he bought a Gibson mandolin for a bargain price, he takes it to be valued by Jesse, the owner of Cowtown Guitars. We see a pretty large amount of the store, the merchandise, and everything Jesse offers in his own business, so it's not surprising that he was quite happy leaving the cash behind for some old-fashioned plug-in. Considering how many people watch each show, it's not a bad deal. Producers hire them. Over the course of the show's 16 season run, we've always been led to believe that the experts are people the Harrison family are friends with. Given that they've been in the biz for decades, it wouldn't be unusual for them to know a few specialists in the industry, would it? They probably do, but the experts that appear on the show are specifically handpicked by History Channel producers and initially have nothing to do with the shop at all. Of course, over the years, some of them have forged friendships with Rick and Co, but don't be fooled when the guys are saying they're going to call a buddy. There aren't any buddies here, just experts purposely hired by TV execs because they seem TV friendly. In fact, a vast majority of them have worked in entertainment before themselves. Steve Grad's Autograph Atrocity Autograph expert Steve Grad appeared on the show a great deal around 2014. The former sports journalist left behind a successful radio career to pursue his interest in the memorabilia area, and soon became known as one of the top authenticators in the world. The smooth talking gent went down pretty well on the show, but earlier this year, he faced backlash after appearing at the Los Angeles Collector's Show. Working on behalf of Beckett Authentication, Steve had a booth that visitors could take their purchase purchases to ensure that they were real. Only, it seemed like he didn't really know what he was doing. According to a post on Autograph Planet, Steve told one woman that her purchase from another stall holder was a dud. When she went back to the seller, they were furious as they had seen it being signed by the star personally. When Grad was approached about his mistake, onlookers claim he got verbally abusive and physically threatening. A little while later, the same thing happened. Only this time, it was an LA police officer who approached Beckett, later filing a police report. Some collectors also claimed claims that Steve was placing authentic stickers on items for a charge of $6. Well, this is Doc Phineas and standing over Main Street at Main Street Station at Steamathon. That's right, Steamathon. Multi-talented Doc. Doc Phineas Castle is one of the most popular experts on the show. The eccentric gent seems to know everything about anything, but his talents don't end with valuing strange objects. As it turns out, the steampunk-loving Doc really is a doctor, having gained his PhD in archaeology many moons ago. Real name Ken, Castle has been involved in showbiz since the age of six and has an impressive resume. There's way too much to list here, but he's danced at Disneyland, created his own shows, been on TV, appeared in movies, and even modeled. In his heyday, he was represented worldwide by Roman. Castle was one of the top male models of the 70s, gracing the pages of Montgomery Ward, J.C. Penney, GQ, Italian L, and many more. Basically, anything you can think of, he's done. Even with a career spanning over 60 years, Doc Phineas has managed to fit in an enormous amount and is probably one of the most successful experts the show has ever featured. Wow. 
Dude, this is amazing. I, I can't even believe I'm holding this in my hands. Jesse Amoroso, Guitar Guru. As we briefly touched upon, Jesse is the go-to expert for the guys when it comes to vintage guitars. Amoroso has been a staple of the Vegas music scene for two decades and is a well-respected member of the local community. Not only does he own Cowtown Guitars, but he also runs a couple of other businesses in town alongside his wife, Roxy. Although there's no doubting that Jesse knows his stuff when it comes to guitars, there are quite a few grumbles about his business dealings online. On the Les Paul forum, one user describes their negative experience with Jesse after purchasing a guitar online. When it arrives, the item was so badly wrapped that it couldn't even be played and weighed significantly more than what was described. As the customer only purchased the instrument due to its supposedly super lightweightedness, they tried to return it. Initially, Jesse agreed. However, things soon turned sour when the music mogul ignored numerous messages and eventually went back on his word, blaming the buyer for being unhappy. Unsurprisingly, several other customers commented to share their own experiences, while others vowed to never buy from the store in the future. Murray the Menace Murray John Sawchuck is the blonde-haired expert on all things remotely magical and has been a show staple for many years now. What some people don't know is that the Magic Wiz is quite famous in his own right, having performed as a magician and entertainer since he was a kid. Sawchuck dubbed himself the Dennis the Menace of the industry and has toured his act around the world, even appearing on season 5 of America's Got Talent, where he did pretty well. His appearances on the show to value all Old objects is such a minor part of his career considering how much he does outside of it. That being said, the 44-year-old also presents the Pawn Stars live events that tour to various cities around the states. There's something to be said for star quality and he certainly has that. It's not hard for this menace to pop into the store either, as he's currently based in Vegas to regularly host a family-friendly magic show at Planet Hollywood. Expert Blunders the show might have you believe that these experts are straight up honest and just giving their fair opinion based on their knowledge, but some people think that it's all a con to make a quick buck. There have been numerous reports of experts pricing up an item to help the guys get a heftier price from a buyer or pricing something below its value just to play a trick on the Harrisons. In other cases, the experts have showed themselves up by simply not knowing what they're talking about. On one occasion, John Reznikov of PSA DNA said that a Godfather movie script was signed by megastar Al Pacino when it was later discovered to be signed by the producer Al Ruddy. That's a substantial difference. After the blunder was discovered, Reznikov was never invited back to the store. But the mistakes didn't end there. Rick lost a staggering $15,000 when another PSA employee, Herman Darvik, told him that a book held the authentic autograph of baseball legend Shoeless Joe Jackson. It turned out to be a big, fat fake. Interestingly enough, when Steve Grad stepped up to the plate to replace these guys, it's emerged that he was taught the craft by Bill Mastro. Mastro was indicted on auction fraud charges in 2012. Would you trust someone who's been taught everything they know by a notorious crook? I don't think so. Rebecca Romney's Rare Relation Rebecca Romney is a firm fan favorite on the show, ticking all the boxes for the viewers. The rare book buff is beautiful as well as incredibly intelligent, so she quickly built up quite a fan base. Out of all the experts on the show, Rebecca is probably the most Googled out of all of them. However, few people actually know that she's related to 2012 presidential candidate Mitt Romney, the Republican. The brunette knockout married J.P. Romney, a relative of the political powerhouse. The reality TV star has briefly touched upon this in a couple of different interviews, but never really dishes the dirt on what's it like being so closely associated with an almost president. Unlike most of the experts on the show, Rebecca mainly seems legit having only made one mistake throughout her dozens of appearances. In the episode Cool as Ike, Romney claims that a copy of Crusade in Europe by Dwight D. Eisenhower was a first edition, when it wasn't. According to her, she had been heavily researching a different book before filming and under the pressure, mixed up the two. The mistake wasn't actually realized until another expert watched the episode and emailed her to notify her. Rather than ignore it, Rebecca owned up on her blog. 
blog, Nazi Johnny. You wouldn't think that an antique expert would be the type to get into an altercation with a drunk girlfriend, but that's exactly what happened to Johnny Jimenez Jr. The go-to guy for anything toy-related, Johnny has appeared many times on the show. Back in 2015, he was back on our screens for an entirely different reason when gossip website TMZ got hold of a video showing Jimenez yanking his drunk girlfriend to the ground outside of a Vegas restaurant. Police were called to the scene just after 4 a.m finding Johnny's girlfriend, but Johnny had already fled the scene. The surveillance footage shows the intoxicated woman exiting the venue as he follows, grabbing her purse strap. Although Johnny claims he was trying to help her and get her back inside, the move made his beloved girlfriend fall to the ground. Cops thought it all looked a bit suspect and after reviewing the footage, charged Jimenez with battery and domestic assault. We couldn't find any follow-up info on whether the big man has cleared his name, but we can bet that the old man wouldn't approve of these antics. Thank you very much for watching today's video. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more amazing content and don't forget to check out one of the other two videos on your screen.